hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like this video and share it with your friends and your loved ones as you all know my name is obviously thank you guys for tuning in once again so in this video i'm going to be talking about delina deuce so delina is a fragrance from perfume de mali is one of the most talked about fragrances in the fragrance industry i'm going to leave all the notes on the screen because i do not remember all the notes right now but i know that there is notes of lychee so it's a very nice sweet floral scent i think it's a very beautiful scent nonetheless i just feel like it's just too expensive because i feel like we can always get that level of sweet floral scent in the designer range or at a more affordable price but it is very long lasting it's a very sexy scent i think it's a very elegant scent so if you're trying to get into the niche line and you don't know the fragrance to start with i think that delina or delina exclusive from perfumes de mali is a very nice safe scent to actually buy so you can actually start with that so you understand the quality of niche fragrances of course we all know that delina is a very expensive fragrance so i'm going to be giving you guys some dupes affordable dupes so i'm going to show you guys the ones i own in my collection and i'm also going to show you guys or tell you guys about the other dupes that i do not own in my collection at the moment so if you like to see this kind of video make sure you keep on watching i do not own the original delina fragrance because as i said earlier i do not think that delina is actually worth my money and if you know me the kind of fragrances that i like are fragrances that are very unique that are very different from what you would normally smell because i am just of the opinion that if i'm going to spend 300 euros or 250 euros on a fragrance you should do what 100 euros or a 50 euros cannot do a 50 euros bottle of fragrance cannot do the bottle of delina is obviously nice it comes in a very nice pink bottle. i'm going to leave the picture on the screen a very nice pink bottle and they have a flanker delina exclusive it also has its body cream it has this hair mist i think that is also a very nice gift package it's very very popular as well so the first dupe on my list here is a designer fragrance and is a flanker of the good girl by carolina herrera very good girl by carolina herrera and this is the red bottle so this is actually a dupe of the delina or i would say delina exclusive from platforms de mali in my opinion it does not smell like the normal good girl by carolina herrera but this one is very different I don't see too much of a similarity even though the dna is there i see a lot of similarity with perfume simali delina so if you're not ready to break the bank to buy the actual fragrance you can actually start with this one like i said it's very sweet it's very floral it can be a tad bit too sweet as well i think that if you're not one that loves very very strong masculine tobacco fragrances this is one for you but you like something sweet elegant classy this is one for you it's equally long lasting i mean it lasts on my skin five to six if not eight hours and you can definitely get even longer hours on your clothes if you spray it on your clothes um i actually like this one i don't wear it every day because again i do not like really sweet fragrances so that's the only reason why i shy away from this one i use it to work most of the time and i do get compliments from this so this is a compliment grabber um it projects as well longevity like i mentioned earlier i think this is more of delina exclusive than delina so the next one here on my list is by Givenchy Irresistible by Givenchy and the first time I used it I did not even think Delina was out at that time I'm not sure if there was Delina at that point or maybe there was I was not just aware but years ago I used this fragrance and this is the EDT of course they have the EDP I believe so it's a very beautiful scent the first time I used it I genuinely loved it it's a very gorgeous scent i think that the edt is a bit milder in terms of the sweetness it's not as sweet as the original delina so if you get the edp you might get more similarity with the delina exclusive or delina from pdm again it's very floral it's equally musky it's a floral woody musky fragrance with fruity rose dancing with tender musky wood so yeah of course i don't know if i did not mention earlier there's obviously notes of rose in delina that's also a very prominent note in all of these fragrances so the rose 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 i think there's lychee in here that creates that very very sweet vibe from the fragrance but in my opinion this is more of the rosy vibe like so it's not as sweet again this is the edt so maybe in the edp you get something sweeter than the normal like than this one so if you don't want something as sweet i would recommend that you go for the edt so in my opinion i do prefer the edt to the edp because i feel like if the edp is too sweet this is already sweet for me and 
nah i don't want anything sweeter than this i think that this is actually a good one so irresistible by Givenchy, and this is the edt one it's a very nice everyday scent it can be your signature scent if you like it's a very nice elegant you know rosy fragrance this is i get more of rose in this one so it's not as sweet again so i think that this is a very good one the next one on my list here is from zara <laughs> you know zara has been doing well with like duping different fragrances so this is fashionably london from zara you know the way i stalled to get this fragrance because i wasn't getting the hype a lot of people hyped this fragrance they loved it i'm not even sure a lot of people knew that this was a deal for delina you know exclusive or delina from perfumes de mali so this is definitely a dupe this is sweet but then i think that this is in fact to be honest i think i prefer this one to the actual delina because there's just something beautiful and luxurious about this particular one this smells more elevated this smells more you know different i mean it is rosy it is sweet but then there's just something beautiful about it there's something more classy about this particular one i use this to work and trust me i work for eight hours so definitely it lasts me eight hours plus because i always get compliments on this one i've recommended this fragrance to a lot of people at work and trust me like everybody loves this fashionably london it's a very beautiful gorgeous scent but i don't know if it's sold out right now but i'll definitely leave the link in the description box for you guys to shop because i think that this is a gorgeous 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 scent it's again it's very classy it's very luxurious it's a good everyday scent ah oh, you guys you guys this is beautiful like this is beautiful i even find it hard to actually relate this to delina exclusive honestly or delina by perfume Zemali. i find it really hard but then i get the vibe it has this similar dna in there but then this is done in a very different way this is done in a very sophisticated way for me this is a very sophisticated fragrance smells very luxurious smells very elegant i mean like <laughs> this smells like a boss babe honestly so you guys should check out this fashionably london by zara okay so the last one that i actually own in my collection which is i don't think it's a popular brand that everybody knows but this is an arab brand this is called rasaya oud and this is dangerous intentions this is dangerous intentions so this is a very strong beautiful you guys even just smelling it right now just gives me joy you know if you want something sweet but then not too sweet i've always loved a well-balanced fragrance a fragrance that has the sweetness as well as you know the oodiness and something bitter about this is what dangerous intentions gives me first of all it's a huge compliment getter it is very long last i'm telling you it will last 24 hours on your skin i kid you not it projects you would literally step into the room and fill up the whole room it's a very very beautiful scent honestly i think that this deserves much more recognition i get notes of wood in here i get rose of course but then the dry down i don't know the dry down obviously gives me more of wood but then there's something there's something sweet about this fragrance that i do not get from other fragrances again i'm going to leave all the notes in the description box or oh, sorry on the screen for you guys i'm going to leave the link in the description box for you guys to check out the store and shop this is a 30 ml it comes with a 3 ml um, oil you can actually create a very nice base for your fragrances with the oil and then you know layer it with this actual fragrance this is a very gorgeous scent i don't get a lot of people talking about this one if you're in budapest hungry you should actually check out this brand and check out this fragrance okay so the next one that i do not have here which i actually used prior and i sold it because i did not really like the performance of that particular fragrance this is called bella rosa by oscar de la renta it comes in a very nice pink bottle it's a very rosy fragrance and so this is why it's more attributed to Delina because of the rose so this just gave me like very soft elegant very clean scent it wasn't a scent that i would use if i wanted something strong that is not the scent i would go for but it's a very nice like errand kind of scent for me i mean it's a very beautiful scent but it's a scent that i'll probably wear if i'm running errands or if i'm not going to stay out for a very long time just something to you know have something to smell you know have something on me it's very inexpensive as well i believe i don't know if they've increased the price per inflation but i know that when i bought it it was not expensive at all so check that out and then the last one on my list is by minarichi and that is rose ecstasy i have not actually smelled this one in particular because i don't have it within my reach right now i'll probably have to order it to actually get a smell of it but i hear like it is practically the same thing it's practically delina there's no difference i think you guys should equally check that out there's also another brand i think it's by orentica perfumes i don't remember but then i'm going to leave a picture on the screen i hear is a dupe for delina so yeah that concludes 
my list of Delina dupes that I know about and the ones that I genuinely love and own. And I hope you guys love this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Again, I'm going to leave the links in the description box so that you guys can get shopping if you'd want to try out these fragrances. And I'm going to see you in my next one. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and make sure you share it to your friends and your loved ones.